the unit. Okay. So all of that was leading up to stress. And the way that you probably learned stress and mechanics was like that, right? Stress is the force divided by air. But that, that seems to lead to the, like this is some scalar equation, right? Because in mechanics, you, did you cover, I can't remember, did you cover tensors? Did you cover the stress tensor in undergraduate mechanics materials? I guess you do because you, you cover hooks, generalized hooks a lot, right? So yeah. But you know, we typically, when we introduce the stress, like it's just some unique value, right? Some scalar thing. But we also say it's force divided by area. What do we know about force? Force is a vector, right? Has to. So force divided by area has to be, you know, if force is a vector, force divided by area has to be a vector. The area is a scalar, right? So at a, at a minimum, it has to be a vector. And you know when we're when we're taught like this, or we use it in, in the way this picture looks, you know we could just force is a vector, but it's only got one component. The other components are zero, and so you know we're just talking about one entry of the stress vector, the one one entry, if you will. Right. So. the sheet in my notes, but it's okay. I know what I want to say. Um, so what if, though, so I've, nor I've normalized area by, you know, I've, I've, or I've, I've claimed that stress is force divided by area, but I chose this area. I just chose it randomly, kind of, right? Happened to be the area that is collinear with that plane. So one way to think about this is I embedded a coordinate system in this plane, and that's that's my frame of reference, if you will. So I've embedded some coordinate system in this frame, and I've chose to normalize it by the area that's defined by the normal vector, that normal vector. Okay. Uh, what if I had the same force, right? The same bar, I'm applying the same force to. But I, what if I slice, what if I chose a different coordinate system such that my new coordinate system that you know I wanted to define it was defined by a plane at an angle like this. And we'll, I was interested in this area, A prime. So now I have like stress prime is equal to the same force divided by A prime. And I'm asking you, is I'm asking the question, is stress and is this sigma and sigma prime, are they equal to one another? Do they have the same value? Can't, right? Can't. Clearly, clearly this A has to be different, right? Because I'm saying that this plane is not that plane. Right? I'm just sort of visualizing. Same bar, same force. I cut it at a different angle, and this is the area I want to normalize it by. So therefore, this can't be true, right? This can't be true. So there's some, there seems to be some, some paradox. Right? <coughs> And the paradox is that the stress, right, again, vector, vector, it, it's also coordinate frame dependent, right? It's coordinate frame dependent. And so we'll see in, in, in a minute, I'm, I'm debating on whether to attempt this in the time we have left. I don't think we have enough time. 
And it's not, not something I want to get into. The, I want to get partway through and have to stop. So um, uh, what we'll see is that the stress is in fact a tensor, which in this class, it's, it's, it's a second order tensor. And in this class, you can just think of that as straight analogy with a three by three matrix. It has nine components. Um, we'll derive it where it comes from. I, we'll do it next time. So we'll get out a little bit early today. But the stress is a tensor or a three by three matrix for the context of this class. And it transforms via this type of matrix transformation. And so if I was to define a transformation matrix between those two planes that I drew, the one, well, the one that was illustrated on the figure and the one I drew, then I could transform through that transformation matrix one stress to the other. And you could see that when viewed in that light and, and viewed in the light of the coordinate frame that they're defined in, they are in fact the same. 